Thank you, Pastor. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> Everybody, I said, Praise the Lord. The Lord is here for you. Whoever you are, whatever you've done, whatever place you've gone before, wherever you are coming from, and however you feel now, the emancipator, the healer, the deliverer, the savior will touch your life tonight in Jesus' name. Emancipation assured for you by Christ's prevailing authority. He's here for me. He's here for me. May the miracle tonight be confirmed in your life. Father, we thank you this time. We bless your name because we know that Christ, Savior, Healer, Deliverer, Emancipator will never fail. In every life tonight, over here, over the radio, on television, online, in every country, every nation of the world, be magnified tonight in Jesus' name. Deliver everyone. Save those you died for. Everyone. Tonight will be the night of their salvation. The night of their healing. The night of everyone's emancipation. Confirm it, Lord. In Jesus' name, we pray. You must say another amen before you sit down. God has blessed you. Please sit down in the blessing of the Lord. Tonight, we come to a story in the New Testament. And it's a story that will be repeated in your life tonight in Jesus' name. We're looking at Matthew chapter 8, and I'm reading from verse 5. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, he's entering into your place, standing before you there tonight in Jesus' name. He has come, the healer. He has come, the deliverer. He has come, the savior. You will not miss your miracle tonight. And when Jesus was entered into Capernaum, there came unto him a centurion beseeching him. There came, you must come. You come with your heart, your mind, your soul, your spirit. You come with a request. Let him know that you are there tonight. You are not an onlooker. You are not a spectator. You are not just in a corner there looking at what is happening to other people. You at the center of the blessing of God tonight. He came. He came with a request. And as you come tonight, with your heart, with your mind, with your soul, and with everything within you, you come with a request. Am I talking about you there? I can't hear you. Yeah. The Lord will answer that request tonight in Jesus' name. Yeah. He came a centurion. You know, there are people that think a crusade like this, an event like this, power manifestation like this, is only for young people. And they come. Because they have title, and because they have name, and because they have popularity. The man is centurion. In those days, that was a great title. A mighty one, a recognized one, a person that was known in the nation, and yet he came. 
as you come tonight, you come to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords, and you come to the power that created the whole universe, you will come. Let's leave the titles behind. And when the Lord stretches forth, it's time to bless you tonight. Title will not block your way. Position will not block your way. And the place, how high you are on earth, will not block your way from receiving the salvation of the Lord and the healing of the Lord and the miracle of the Lord tonight. In Jesus' name, beseeching him now. There are people on earth that their profession hinders them from beseeching, from asking, from asking for help. There are people, their profession makes them so high and so resilient and so powerful and so protected that they will not want to ask for anyone's help because that shows I'm helpless. It shows I'm hopeless. It shows I'm despondent. It shows I have a problem. And there are people, if you are like that, you already have a pedestal, a position in society that you think is a shame to ask. The centurion cast away all background, all culture, and all professional dignity, and he came as you come tonight. And you brush off everything that you might have thought about. The Lord will reach out to you tonight. Yeah. Look at verse 6. In verse 6, and saying, Lord, my servant lies at home, sick of the palsy. This was a man. He didn't merry go round. He didn't beat about the bush. He didn't go a kind of Israelite journey in the wilderness. Here, here, telling stories, introducing himself, and telling about his title and his position. He just said, Lord, he called him Lord. As a centurion, he had a captain over him. He had powers that he reported to. He had people that he reported to. But he exalted Christ above all the captains, above all the people he had interacted with. He said later, I'm a man under authority. He had authority over him. But he exalted the authority of Christ above everyone. As we come tonight... And it's not just that is a crusade, a Christian gathering. I'm a Christian too. I'm a religious man too. I'm a, a religious woman too. Brush all that aside tonight. Jesus will be your Lord. Yeah. I'm talking to somebody there tonight. I said tonight, Jesus will be your Lord. Yeah. And not secretly. And not privately, openly, he said, Lord, my servant lies at home, sick of the palsy, grievously tormented. Then verse 7, and Jesus says unto him, I will come and heal him. He didn't say, what's your qualification? Are you a church man? Are you a religious man? Are, have you read your Bible today? Have you done devotion? No question. And tonight, as you come, no question. You will catch, carry, and go. Power from on high. Healing from on high. Miracle from on high. Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Have you noticed those two verbs? I will come, come. And when I come, healing is sure. 
Christ is there tonight. With you right there, Christ is there. And once he comes, he will heal you. He will deliver you. He will set you free. It will save you. It will forgive your sin. And then in verse 8, the centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof, but speak the word only. He didn't ask him for oil. He didn't ask him for a touch. He didn't ask him for anything tangible, anything earthly. He said, you are Lord. You are king. You are a man of all authority. You are divine. And if you speak the word, my servant shall be healed. Tonight, the word will heal you. The word will save you. The word will deliver you. Speak the word only. And my servant shall be healed. The servant was healed. I'll read that to you later as we go on. But I want to assure you tonight, miracle is coming your way. Healing, deliverance coming your way. As I said, I'm talking to you on assured emancipation. By Christ's prevailing authority. The authority of Christ will prevail over every work of the devil in your life. Yeah. I can see that water hedge shrinking, becoming normal. Yeah. I can see those blind eyes being opened. I can see those lame people rising up and walking because the authority of Christ is a prevailing authority. Three things I'm talking about. Number one, the misery of servants under authority grievously tormented. Number two, the Messiah Savior with all authority over great torment. And number three, the miracle of salvation authenticated or gracious transformation. All the points are for you. Amen. Every prophecy there for you. Amen. The power of the Lord in everything we say tonight is coming straight away. And it's coming to you directly tonight in Jesus name. Amen. What is the man I'm talking about there? The woman I'm talking about there, you got it tonight. You will not go back home empty-handed in Jesus' name. Number one, number one, the mystery of servants under authority, grievously tormented. The servant lying at home. The servant helpless. The servant tormented. The servant hopeless. He was there lying down. And the centurion, the master, could do nothing. And because of that, he thought, where will I go? I go here. I've been there before. Nothing happened. I go there. I've been there before. Nothing happened. I consult that man, that woman. I've consulted them before. Nothing happened. If you carry a challenge, you carry a problem, and you go through suffering, and you've been in different places before, no solution, you have come to Christ tonight that has all power. Power to save. He'll save you tonight. Power to be free. He'll set you free tonight. Power to have healing, total deliverance, Healing, deliverance has come for you tonight. All affliction will be taken away. All evil things will be cancelled in your life. And then, look at verse 9. In verse 9 of that story, it says, For I am a man. After the Lord had said, I will come and heal him. He said, Lord, you don't have to take all that trouble. Stay where you are here. Send the word. 
And I know if you send the word, it will be a word of assured emancipation, authoritative emancipation, total emancipation. Then he explained why he said that. He said, for I am a man under authority, having soldiers under me. And I say to this man, go, and he goeth. He said, I understand earthly authority. And you come with heavenly authority. And so, if I tell a man, go, and he goes, if you tell anything, anyone on earth with my understanding of authority, if you say, demon, go, demon has to go. Sickness, go, sickness has to go. Infirmity, go, infirmity has to go. And torment, go, torment has to go. That was what he was trying to explain. Now, let me tell you something. Centurion, when you say saint, century, centurion, is connected with 100. When you said, I'm a centurion, I have soldiers under me, he had 100 soldiers under him, centurion. And he was saying, I have authority over those 100 soldiers. And you, you are a man of authority, divine authority. You have authority over 100 percent of problems in the world you are included there 100 whether it is insanity or madness or affliction or whatever it is 100 covers everything the power of christ covers your problem tonight healing deliverance salvation emancipation total authority tonight coming from christ he said i say to this man the man may be tall the man may be short the man may be bigger than myself the man might be of long long age and the man that been there in the army for a long time but is one of the soldiers under me and i don't look at his stature i say to this man go and he has to go he was saying i know christ you have authority it doesn't matter how big the problem how high the problem how long standing the problem if you will say with your assured authority go that problem tonight will have to go that thing cannot stay there. That evil power cannot stay there. That torment cannot stay there. Because Christ has authority over 100% of the problems. Then it says, I say to another, come. And he cometh. If you say healing come tonight, healing will come. Amen. Deliverance come. Deliverance will come. Power from on high come, power tonight will come. To you there. <laughs> Look at him. You are lying down there. When the Lord says, rise up tonight, you rise up and nothing will stop your king. And then he says, I say to my servant, do this, and he doeth it. And he doeth it. Whether they are demons or evil spirits or Satan or affliction, the Lord speaks tonight the word of power. And all your torments and all your misery, everything will vanish away. You see, there are people who do not understand that torment has level. Torment has scale. Torment has different categories. There is 
torment of sickness. There is torment of Satan. There is torment on earth. There is torment in eternity. And the only one with power, with authority, can take torment of earth, take that away. Torment in eternity, take that away. Torment of his spirit, take that away. Torment of suffering, take that away. Only one name. There's no other name given under the heaven, under the sky, that can take those torments away except the name of Jesus. And it starts with the torment of the consequence of sin, the torment of suffering, the torment of affliction, and then it goes on and on. And if something is not done, if you are not rescued from all those torments, it will escalate to the torment of Satan. If you still don't have a solution, it will escalate and grow up torments on earth. And if you are still searching and going about and you are not coming to the right source that will take all the torments away, it will now eventually lead to torments on the other side in hellfire. There was a rich man. He fared sumptuously every day. There was a leper. Uh, sorry, there was another man, a poor man, a beggar. And the beggar didn't, didn't appear to have any good thing here on earth. And then the rich man appeared to have everything. One day came, the beggar died. And he went home. The rich man died and he left home. Understand? The beggar knew my home is up in the sky. The best has not happened here. And all I suffer here, this is not my home. I am going home. And he died and the angels carried him home, heavenly home. You will get there. The rich man, the only home he knew, is the home here on earth. While the beggar was going home, the rich man was leaving home. Leaving a place that he felt would have continued. And now he went to the other side, no accommodation there, no home there, no water source there, and there is no joy there, and there is no light here, because he had been home here, he had light, he had water home, he had facilities home, he had food home, when he died, Without the authority of the Lord and without the provision of the Lord, he left home and he went to that other side and then torments continued. But your case will not be like that. You will not be in torment on earth because Christ is going to take that torment away. And when you leave and you go to that other side, You'll be going home. I will be going home. I will be going home. Because Christ, the Savior, the Lord, touches your life, and then you call him Lord, you call him Savior, torment will go today. I'm, I'm talking to you. I said your torment your sickness, your sin, the evil, wherever it's coming from, it will lead today in Jesus' name. And let me come to number two here. Number two, the Messiah Savior, with all authority over great torments. Our Savior 
is here. And that Savior has given a promise. Look at verse 7 of the story I'm reading to you there. It says, and Jesus saith unto him, I will come and heal him. He will come to you there today. He knows the way. He knows how to get to you. He sees you. He knew when you were coming. He knew your heart. He knew your desires. And now he says, he's coming to you. When you hear the mention of that name, he has come to you. When you hear the amen, he has come to you. When you stand and you pray, he has come to you. When you call him tonight and you say, Lord, I'm here, save me. He will come to you, he will save you. Forgive me, he will forgive you tonight. Change my life, it will transform and change your life tonight. And deliver me from all the torments and all the sicknesses I have. Tonight is your night in Jesus' name. Look at this, and Jesus said unto him, I will come and heal him. Have you noticed that Jesus Christ is impartial? Completely impartial. A leper came, if thou wilt, you can make me clean. I will without clean. A centurion came, my servant lies at home, tormented of the devil. I will come and heal him. And then he brought the people in the evening and he set them there. And by his word, he healed all of them. A blind man came and said, have mercy on me, son of David. What do you want? I want my eyes to be opened. And their eyes were open. The lame were there. And as they looked up to him, he healed them. And Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever, is not partial. He's going to touch everyone tonight. Heal everyone tonight. And so he said, I will. I will come. You know, that's the simplest way of saying there is no shadow of doubt. If he had said, I may come, he may come, he may not come. But this one, I will come. And he says, his watch has not changed. His power has not changed. His love has not changed. His readiness to heal, to deliver, has not changed. And when he said, I will, he says the same thing today for you. What are you there? It's coming to you. And he's going to heal you. I will come and heal him. And if she's her, I will come and heal her. It's coming to you tonight. And he gives us that assurance. And then, uh, let me read that verse again. Verse 8. Verse 8 says, The centurion answered and said, Lord, I am not worthy. Will you say, isn't that negative? No, it's positive. He's saying, I'm centurion, but my position does not qualify me. I am not worthy. I have servants, and my being a master does not qualify me. I am not worthy. I, I collect, I draw regular salary from the institution I serve. I'm rich. But my riches do not qualify me. I am not worthy. I am religious too. But my religion does not qualify me. I am not worthy. I can get to the king anytime. And I have access to the earthly king. But all that, my contacts, they do not qualify me. I am not worthy. I give money to the poor, and I help the helpless, but all those works of my hand, they do not qualify me, I am not worthy. When you come like that, and you say, 
all I trust in the mercy of God. I am not worthy of the healing, of the salvation. I'm a poor sinner. And I cannot pay for my salvation. I am not worthy of your forgiveness. Worthy of your freedom. And worthy of the salvation you bring. That is the only way for you to have the touch of heaven upon your life. It will come tonight. I said it will come tonight. But you know, if the centurion had sat back and he had said, go. He had many servants after all. He could have said, you go meet that Jesus and tell him there's a great man here. His title is that of centurion. And I have one of my servants. I cannot mix with, you know, all that crowd of people. I'm above them. My dignity will not allow me to come directly to you. Go, servant, go tell him to come and heal my servant here. He would have got nothing. Pride would have shut the door against him. But he came with all humility. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray unto me, and they will seek my face, then I will forgive their sin, I will heal their land. As we come tonight like that, and we know he is the Messiah, he is the Savior, and he has all authority over great torments. Tonight, mercy will come to you. Miracle will come to you. Salvation will come to you. Then you said, I'm not worthy that thou shouldest come under my roof. Under my roof. My roof is defiled. I know where I got money to buy all those things. I, the one living there, I am not worthy, I'm defiled. And all the things there, Lord, you don't want to come to my house. I want you to come to my house. You're clean, you're pure, you're holy. And everything I've gathered there, no. You cannot come under my roof. You know the people that come like that and they say, I know my own story. I know my own history. And I, I don't expect that anything I have, anything I possess, anything I have put together will qualify for salvation and healing. Those are the people that get the salvation of the Lord. You are getting it tonight. And then he said, but speak the word only. Centurion, speak the word only. Only, what was he saying? He was saying, you are Lord, and I put you side by side with God. And in the beginning, God said, let there be light. There was light. That's God. Let the oceans come. The ocean came. And let all the animals and all the reptiles and all the things in the sea, let them come up. And it was so. Let the stars be in heaven. And it was so. That is God. He manifests his power through his word. And you are Lord on the side of God Almighty as he spoke. The world into existence. I know you are Lord. Speak the word only. Just say, be healed. My servant will be healed. And tonight, Christ is here. And he's speaking the word unto you. I didn't hear you there. I thought... You are the one speaking the word. Uh -uh. I am just the loudspeaker. And he is the one speaking through the loudspeaker unto you. Yeah. And tonight he says, be forgiven. Yeah. Tonight he says, be saved. Yeah. Tonight he says, be delivered. Yeah. Tonight he says, receive a miracle. And when you hear that final amen, 
it is so. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. I remember one of the crusades, just the word, just the word coming from the pulpit. And there was um, a man, a fair by name, from a noble state. He was completely sick, sick, totally sick. And then, at the point of death, and I spoke the word, and Christ took that word and came to him at the time of prayer. Let me show him to you. If you any, talk to us. Tell us what happened. My name is Ifan Chukubu. I thank God for my life. It was a very bad situation. He fell sick. We carried him from one place to the other. Before the thing started, I don't know where I am. I don't know where to start. Even to come out and eat myself, they were hard to me. Even the time where they carried me go to hospital, I don't even know. The thing even touched my head to make me run mad. Even anything, the thing that I'm speaking that time, they come, they tell me, say, I'm speaking like a madman, the time where I'm recovering myself. I can't wonder, me, they keep talking all this. But now, I am okay. And now, I thank God for my life, for giving me another chance for me to live. Praise God for my life. Just about to go for MRO scan, we heard about the Global Divine Touch Crusade, and then we connected. By special grace of God, miraculous thing happened. And look at my elder brother, I see, so, I see a lot of difference. Things that I cannot do before, I saw, I saw him doing it. Even uh, he was on the, on, the, on the oxygen before, they removed the oxygen immediately. I want to thank God for this Global Crusade, Divine Touch. And I thank God for Pastor Kumui. May God bless him more and bless everybody. Praise the Lord. It happened to him. It's now your turn. I've given chance to a young man to talk. I must give chance to a woman. Gladys was healed. Let her tell you the condition, the story, what actually happened herself. Gladys, talk to your people. I was ashamed because children are at my back. And those people, those children, they, are, they watch at me when I carry my hand and place on my arm. My name is Gladys Gogo. I'm from River State. After the delivering of my son, that was 2017. I had a serious challenge, and later I discovered that it was by which I was not be able to, whenever I'm sleeping, I'll be feeling something and objects moving in my arms. Even if I'm walking, and with a serious pain, then to an extent, this thing now stopped, as in a kind of stopping my period. My skin now started turning to, as in, very dry because of the problem. Then I now attend the Global Crusade. That was Abia Global Crusade with Pastor Dr. W. F. Kumui. Then he now said that wherever you have a challenge, we should lay our hands on it. But I did not lay my hands on that place with reason. I was ashamed because children are at my back and those people, those children, they, are, they watch at me when I carry my hand and place on my arm. So I was ashamed, but to God be the glory. I did not even lay my hand, but the last amen, that, that was the end of that very problem. Now, as I'm talking to you, I can walk freely, I can jump, I can jump, I can dance, I can bend down, even if I'm sleeping. 
I did not see anything moving, no moving object. I say, may God receive his praises in Jesus' name. Amen for you. Tonight, your turn. Amen. Point number three now. Number three, we're talking about the miracle of salvation. Authenticated with gracious transformation. Your life. A new life. A better life. A higher life. A transformed life. Look at your pastor shouting and then you cannot talk. Matthew chapter 8 and I'm reading from verse 10. When Jesus heard it, he marveled and said to them that followed, the Lord looked away from the centurion. The centurion had won his heart and he spoke to people Around him, you will win the heart of Christ tonight. It will take you special. It will, it will take you peculiar. And it will do a special, spectacular miracle in your life tonight in Jesus' name. When Jesus had it, what did he hear? What did Centurion said? Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. When Jesus had that, he said to them that followed, Verily I say unto you, I have not found so great faith, no, not in Israel. He credited the man with so great faith. What's great faith? Who has great faith? How do we manifest great faith? Very simple. When we call him Lord and we say, You are Lord and your word is the word of power, the word of authority, and the word that cannot fail, that's faith. When you say, You don't have to come, touch me, lay hands on me, push me. I don't have to fall on the ground, but the word, as it comes, it's healed other people. It's delivered other people. Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. Oh, you say, but pastor, I don't have any servant. Yes, you do. Your hand is your servant, and your hand that is swollen, your hand that is weak, your hand that is tormented, that's your servant, that your hand will be healed. Yeah. Pastor, do I have any servant? Yes, your legs, they are your servants. They are to serve you and carry you from place to place. Now the servant, your legs, they are lame. They are paralyzed. You have stroke. And your legs cannot serve you now because the legs are paralyzed. And you are telling the Lord tonight, my legs, my servant, tormented and sick, you will heal. And when the Lord touches you tonight, those servants, your legs, you'll get strength, you'll rise up and walk. Your lungs, they serve you. If you don't have lungs, or if your lungs are diseased, or if your lungs are, are sick, you cannot breathe, and if you don't breathe, you cannot live. Your lungs are your servants. Speak the word only, and my servant, my lungs will be healed. Your kidneys, the kidneys, they walk every time, and the blood passes through, and is purified, and then separates this and separates that, and your internal organs are cleansed, but if those, if those servants, if they cannot work, you cannot ease yourself. You cannot live an active life. Those are your servants. Those kidneys, they'll be healed tonight in Jesus' name. Your eyes are your servants. 
Because if those eyes are dim or blind, or blind, you are walking, you pitch there, you pitch fall there, and then you fall down there, and we have to be carrying you up. Your eyes are your servants, and the servants have to see well. Otherwise, you will not be served well. You just stay in one place. The Lord is coming tonight. He'll touch those eyes, your servants. Your servants will be healed in Jesus' name. Every part of your body, internal, external, they serve you. And they make your brain, that's your servant. If you, if you cannot think right, if you cannot imagine well, if you cannot do anything with your brain, and the brain is scattered, and you are mad, that's your servant. Without that servant, where will you be in life? The Lord will touch all the parts of your body, your servants tonight, in Jesus' name. And when Jesus speaks to that servant, and when Jesus speaks to every part of your body tonight, praise the Lord, I see you healed. I see you standing up. I see you coming without being aided by anybody. Those legs will become strong and you will walk in Jesus' name. Look at verse 13. In verse 13, and Jesus said unto the centurion, Go thy way as thou hast believed. You believe tonight? Anybody there believing tonight? As thou hast believed, so be done unto thee. And his servant was healed in the self same hour tonight for you. In this self same hour, He will heal you. He will deliver you. He will save you. Now, your heart, your spirit, when your spirit is down with guilt and condemnation, and your heart is palpitating, and you're having condemnation and guilt, and you know, you cannot even make it two and two to be four. But that's your heart, your servant, at the very center of your life. The Lord will cleanse your heart. He will forgive your sin. He will bring peace in your heart today, in your life today. Heart, mind, brain, eyes, eyes, legs, every part, total emancipation tonight. Are you there? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Will you call him Lord? Yes. Call him Lord. Lord. Say that again. Lord. Call him Lord. Lord. It's bowed and eyes closed. He is Lord, he is Savior. He rose from the dead to take your torments away. To take your sins away. And remember, forget title. Forget position. As you publicly call him Lord and Savior. All your sins tonight will be forgiven. Amen. He'll write your name in the book of life in heaven. He will reserve a place for you in heaven. So that when you leave this world... You'll not go to a higher level of torments. Heads bowed, eyes closed. You want his forgiveness. You want his salvation. You want his peace of mind. Anyway, you are now. Raise up your hand. God bless you there. I want his peace, his pardon, his forgiveness, his freedom, his salvation. I make him my Lord. I make him my Savior. Money cannot save me. Position cannot save me. All I've done, all I've given, everywhere I've been cannot save me. I come to him tonight, Christ, my Lord, my Savior. Raise up that hand. 
you are watching on television, you are listening on radio, you are in a congregation, you are connected, or you are by yourself, this is your moment of salvation. Raise up that hand. If you're raising up your hand, stand up wherever you are. Your salvation has come. God bless you there. God bless you there. God bless you there. Yes, over there. God bless you there. Stand up right there and say, Lord, I come. Make him your Lord. Say, Christ, you are my Lord. You are my Savior. I give myself to you right now. I do not want to face torment in hellfire forever and ever. Take my guilt, my condemnation away. Tell him, tell him, tell him. Is an impartial Lord. Whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Stand up right there, stand up right there, stand up right there and say, Lord, you are my Lord and Savior. I'll pray with you, pray for you now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you at this time. And I pray your salvation, your forgiveness will come to everyone. Believe him for that now in Jesus' name. Take guilt away, oppression away, condemnation away. And Lord, let the joy of salvation come into their hearts right now. Write their names in the book of life in heaven. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. God bless you. Keep on standing. Our counselors are there. And they will attend to you briefly, your radio, your television. You'll see the number on the screen. And then we'll contact you. Welcome into the kingdom of God. We'll call on our pastor moderator tonight to take over this session. I'll come back to pray for the sick. Praise the Lord. The GCK Convener welcomes all those who have just got into the kingdom tonight. And you're there standing up. We have a special package from a file in the Lord for you. We observed that yesterday there were some of you that did not receive your package. Please, uh, our counselors should give to those who gave their life to Christ yesterday but didn't receive the package right now. If you didn't receive yours, could you raise up your hand for identification so that it can give to you? Your special package, you must not miss it, please. And for those of you that gave your life to Jesus and radio and television, we welcome you to the family of God. What a wonderful, beautiful family it is. You will see a link rolling on your screen. Click on that link and then you will connect with Christ. Very, very special link just for you there's a phone number on your screen right now i'm calling it for those on radio so that you can hear is plus two three four nine one five four 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 Nine two six three. It's a WhatsApp call, so you can call from anywhere in the globe. The number again: plus two three four nine one five four 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 nine two. Six three. 
you're welcome to the family. For the convert rally, uh, it's going to be held here tomorrow by the grace of God. So we expect you to be here tomorrow by the grace of God by 3 o'clock and enjoy the fellowship of the children of God. Please make sure that you fill in your information very, very legibly, clearly. Preferably, let it be done in capital letters, please. There will be a special online banquet for all those watching online who gave their lives to Christ on Sunday 7th August 2022. More details about these will be sent to you. Our pastor will be delighted to have you join this special banquet. Lagos Believers Banquet on Sunday 7th August 2022 at various group headquarters, time 3 p.m. If you have just received your miracle, please share your testimony with us via the WhatsApp number being displayed. You can also record your video of your testimony and share with us via WhatsApp and telegram don't forget that tomorrow by the grace of god the kbc will be here live and we're encouraging every one of us go around town and noise it abroad and uh, also tomorrow morning we'll be come uh, impact for the students it's a program you cannot afford to miss. And you shouldn't come alone. Reach out to your friends and be here. The man of God will be waiting for you from 6.30 in the morning. Let's be gathering by 6.30 in the morning. Counselors, have you... Are you, are you true with the counseling? If you are, just wave your hand wherever you are, the left hand side, the middle side, and then the right hand side. Please take your time. We are not rushing over it. Make sure you get the right information and let it be legible. Give them their package. Those who have not received theirs, please, they mustn't miss it. You can't afford to miss this special package. And if you are just here for the first time, you are invited by your friend. You can, as you're sitting down, just wave your hand. Our brethren over there will see you, and then they will be able to attend to you. You are a very, very special guest, and we want to be in touch with you. I'm waiting for signal if you are through in any section of the congregation, please. You just wave your hand and that will be all right. If you are true, 
Just wave your hand, but make sure you have done a very thorough job. The writings are legible. If the counselors have not reached you where you are, can you please wave your hand? If they have not reached you, you have just given your life to Christ and the counselors have not reached you where you are, could you just wave your hand here? Okay, in the middle there, you can see the signal. My left and my right, I'm waiting for your signal, please. Now, shortly, the miracle prayer is coming. And you cannot miss yours tonight. You cannot miss it tonight. The word of the man of God has been confirmed in your life. You cannot go back empty-handed. The man of God is ready now. And I believe you are ready. Heaven is ready. Catch your miracle tonight. Welcome, sir. And everybody said... Who will be the next to give testimony? Serious? You mean that? A miracle is coming your way. You see, that centurion just said, Speak the word only, and my servant shall be healed. And tonight, that word of power, word of authority, Word of emancipation is coming your way. Amen. You will be healed. Amen. We call him Lord. We call him healer. We call him deliverer. We call him emancipator. And when that word reaches you there, that miracle will take place tonight. Amen. You raise up one hand. You lay the other hand where you have the challenge. If you have a deaf, dumb, a person there by your side, lay that hand on them. If you are blind, the hands on your eyes. Any challenge tonight, you will be healed. Amen. Ready? Amen. Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. God, you are the God of all power. The God of mercy. The God of love. And the God that works miracles. I pray, Lord, for everyone. Having any challenge, any affliction, any sickness. Lord, I pray, manifest yourself to them. Heal them in Jesus' name. Here, right here. On the radio, over the television, online. In every congregation, Amen. every nation of the world, Amen. manifest your power, Amen. deliver, Amen. heal, Amen. set free, Amen. break every yoke, Amen. destroy the work of the devil. Amen. Lord, I pray that right now, everywhere, manifestation of power. Amen. Blind eyes be opened in Jesus' name. Amen. Deaf and dumb, receive your miracle in Jesus' name. Amen. Brain problem, lunacy. I pray that that madness will vanish away now. Amen. Goiter, be removed in Jesus' name. Fibroid, 
come out in Jesus' name. I'll be healed in Jesus' name. Cancer, be healed in Jesus' name. Ulcer, be healed in Jesus' name. Heart problem, I pray, Lord, you touch that heart now. Everything shall be all right now in Jesus' name. And yeah, be removed in Jesus' name. The flow of blood come to an end right now in Jesus' name. Pain, fever in their body, take all the pains away. Take the fever away. Lord, I pray those who are at the point of death, anywhere, manifest reviving resurrection, resuscitating power, now in Jesus' name. Anywhere and everywhere. Any sickness and every sickness. The hand of the Lord touch you right now. Healing for you. Healing for everyone. Deliverance for you. Deliverance for everyone. Emancipation for you. Emancipation for everyone. Lord, let there be confirmation everywhere right now. Thank you, Lord, because I know it is done. In Jesus' name I pray. It is done. It is done. As you check up yourself there, you'll see there's a miracle right there. The miracle is there. You have a testimony.